Okay, so Sandra Fluck is going to introduce Obama tonight. Bill Clinton's going to introduce Obama at the convention. Is there a coincidence there? By the way, when you hear the name Sandra Fluck, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Seriously, Snurdly, stop screening for a second. Put them on hold politely. When I say the name Sandra Fluck, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? No, 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 not. Never mind. Never mind. No. <laughs> no. The first thing that comes into your mind is my name. <laughs> it's, Snurdly says it's not the first. The first thing, when you mention her name, my name is what most people think of. I should be getting a finder's fee. Oh, well. Um. I, I, no, I don't. I, I don't know if they give out condoms at, at Obama's fundraisers. Is Michelle going to be there? Michelle Obama at the thing in Denver? I don't know why. What was that to do with it? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I, I've good. To, by the way, um, a relevant piece of news here, but not political. But I want to get this in before we have to move on. There's a new study out there from Seattle, CBS, claiming that obesity could not only increase a driver's risk of being in an accident, but also result in more severe injuries. Obese drivers, not only, I don't know how, obese drivers have more accidents and then more people get injured in those accidents. When the driver is fat, when the driver is, <laughs> who, it came out of Seattle, uh, can, can, well, Canadian scientists, University of Laval, and published in the, uh, the Journal of Transportation Safety and Security. And I guess what, they can't turn the steering wheel at least fast enough? <laughs> 